So if I wanted to use this for the entire U.S., this map that's here, wait a minute, it's not showing it. And I'm sure, again, somebody that's on the call today, you've attached a, a WMS file and realized it's not showing all the area that I want, or it's showing the wrong area, even worse. That is somewhat controlled. And let me attach some, a little, for, for those that may not be too familiar with the uh, geography here of, of the area we're talking about, I'm going to add uh, the rest of the U.S. states for the contiguous states, the, the 48 states here. Uh, we have two more that are outside this, but there they are, the 48 contiguous states. Only one I care about is Florida. This map is not going to work. It would not work for all of the U.S. either. But how do I adjust that? How do I change that? Well, one of the things that I can do when the image is being attached is that I skipped over it conveniently enough. I just changed the coordinate system. But you'll notice that there is a map range that's listed in here. This, the areas and things that are grayed out, the layer ranges and so on, you can control. So I want to tell it what actually to uh, to use. So when I set that to, to uh, manual, I happen to have the lat longs, because that's what's listed in here for it, for the image. I happen to have the lat longs for what I need for just the area that I care about. I'm going to come in and adjust those. And of course, you know, standard like key in function in MicroStation, if I do uh, uh, 31 degrees and I want to tell it degrees, I'll do a shift six to say degrees. I'm going to do 3130 uh, north and I'm going to change Real quickly, just change each one of these. This one just needs to be uh, 79 west. I'm a terrible typist. Let's so let's hopefully I'll make sure I get these correct. 24 north is right, and then we want 88 west here. So what did this change? This changed the area, the clip, if you will, the area of that WMS. This is where preview comes in really handy because I can quickly look at this and say, if I needed to use this for the state of Florida, this would work perfectly. So I'll hit save and let this go ahead and save it. You see, it takes a second. Again, you're paying the penalty, if you will, of, of that uh, uh, size of that image. As you zoom in, it disappears for a second. doesn't mean it's gone. It's just having to serve that image up from the server. So, you know, there's a lot going on here, folks. You might say, boy, that's really slow. Well, you wouldn't be wrong, except for the fact that this is being served up from that USGS uh, survey that's our US, uh, GS website that's out there. And so it's pulling all that uh, data. And again, you know, you know, you're paying that penalty, if you will. And that's the real difference between the WMS and WMTS. So, you know, what we're gonna wanna do is trim this down, this image down to an area just outside my vector data that's there. So one of the things that that I that I might want to do is uh, you know make this a little bit smaller. Now I can come in and certainly I can do something like uh, I want to make this quite a bit smaller, and I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to cut and paste those in. So don't feel like you're stuck with the values that are in there. You certainly can go in and, and re, you know, uh, set that the, the uh, values that are in here for those geo coordinates. But let me do this one last one. And now when I look at the preview, it'll take a second for it to update. This is a lot smaller area, right? This is the area just around my, you know, around the, the uh, geometry. So you know, much easier to look at. You can see it right there and there it displays. But what I might want to do is just come in here and draw a, a, a boundary around this, like a polygon, and say, okay, that's the clipped area. You know, just like you would for a regular microstation clip. Can you clip this? Yeah, you can, but you're still dealing with the area that's outside there. So how would you make sure that the boundary is exactly the same? We need to draw something out there and get, in this case, the uh, long lap. Okay, so a, this is more MicroStation, a question for you. Does everybody know how to draw in long lat? Well, there's a few things that you need to know. You, one, you know, how, 
you know, typically MicroStation is going to accept a key in and it's going to use the absolute position, in this case, in state plane coordinates. How do you tell MicroStation to use longitude and latitude to be able to draw, in this case, a little polygon that's going to represent the area that I want to clip this? We well, do that by doing these four things. There's four steps. One, make sure that you have the correct geographic coordinate system uh, defined. And I do. I'm squared away. I've, I've got this one, one set. Uh, in fact, I can change it if I want to, but that'll work right here. And then I want to turn on in the status bar what we call the running coordinates. They may not, they may not be displayed by default, so your status bar may look like that. Just right-click on the status bar in here, and we'll select running coordinates. Your running coordinates might look a little different than mine because mine are showing, in this case, uh, lat long, yours would be showing a state plane coordinate, for example. Um, what I do is under the utilities, or excuse me, drawing aids, I'm going to go to my auxiliary coordinate system right here. And if we look at the lists that are available, you can see there's a couple that are available, that are, that are available, right? So there's a national grid, a military grid, as well as just this geographic coordinate system. I can actually work in either one. If I have it set to that and I move my cursor around, you'll see in the running coordinates, you'll see it's 17R NJ7488. This is that national grid. If I double click on geographic, in this case, you're going to see long lat. How, what's the last step? Well, that is clicking down here. And by default, that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to show state plane coordinates, right? I can click on the state plane coordinates that are here and set this to the auxiliary coordinate position, the auxiliary coordinate system position. If I select it, it'll be using what I have highlighted or selected in here. And now it's going to show the long lat. Well, that's great. You can see as you move your cursor around, you know, wherever that happens to be, you could jot down the long lat of that and so on. Uh, you also can draw in MicroStation. I think probably a few of you still might use some key ins. Uh, I can't be the only one that still uses a key in every now and then. A really old key in is using like X and Y and, 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 uh, and DI and DL, but there's another one that doesn't get used as much, and that is AX. AX will allow me to draw using these auxiliary coordinate system, and what they would allow me to do in this case is I can draw a shape, in this case a polygon, that uses that coordinate system. So, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to match my little shape out here, which is this raster boundary clip. I'll pick a tool like place uh, block, and I'll use the, that key in. Now, I'm just going to double click on it in the key in field, but if I keyed in AX equals negative 80 degrees and so on, that provides the exact location for that smaller, uh, you know, for, for that smaller shape. I could just move my cursor over the top of it. I could snap to it with a tentative point, but that shows me the coordinates I also have in the key in. And of course, I won't do it just because of time, but I might come in here and go to my edit, the WMS, and change the geo coordinates so it matches it perfectly, right? The big things for WMS, before we move on to the next part of this, is that uh, the units, the geographic coordinate system, have a lot to do with it. So you want to make sure that those are defined correctly, you know, which we did when we attached it. You also want to make make sure that you set the map layers, in this case, the range method to manual, and be able to type it in to limit the area. The smaller the image that's limited, you know, if you're only showing a street intersection, you probably don't need a map of the entire world. Um, and you're carrying a lot of extra data. A lot of the problems that you might that people might run into for WMS are really related to this right here. Second thing, I, like I said, is the geographic coordinate system in the units. Those are the two big ones. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.